Rumors of Apple's iPhone 5S shortages continue in rumor mill. The Google Nexus 5 gets leaked on video running Android 4.4 KitKat. And Nokia has already begun teasing their October 22nd event. I'm Jaime Rivera, and believe it or not, I've been coffee-free for the last two days, which kind of reminds me of when I quit smoking. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the official news as Nokia has begun sending out press invitations for an event to happen on October 22nd, and this follows all the rumors that we talked about yesterday about Nokia launching their Lumia 1520 phablet in October. Now obviously it's hard to predict that this will be the device launch or the only device launch within this event, so stay tuned, even though some people are already talking about this phone being called the Lumia 1022. Now let's talk about Sony. Those of you impressed by the Sony Xperia Z1 at IFA in Berlin can now pick it up in the UK. Links in the description as to where. The company's new stab at smartphones brings a better camera quality, better build quality, a waterproof device, and etc, etc, etc. You can bet our review unit will reach the Pocket Now Labs very soon, so stay tuned as to what our impressions are of everything that's on paper in the real world. Now let's talk about the Google Nexus 5 as the device just got leaked on video, and what would a video leak be if it's not at a bar? That's exactly the protocol that's always followed. We're not sure if the device got lost at a bar or what, but as it turns out, we get to see the device, you know, it's the LG Nexus 5, everything that we saw at the FCC, but interesting, it's running Android 4.4 KitKat. And if any of you notice any differences between that and Jelly Bean, please leave us a comment down below because I can't figure it out. The videos are quite small. Small. Links in the description for that. Now let's talk about iOS 7. Those of you waiting for it can get it tomorrow on your compatible iPhone. Though, yeah, you can expect those servers to be jammed, so be very patient about it. And if you want to learn more about what's all the buzz behind iOS 7, make sure you watch our full playlist of everything to expect here. Now, an even more interesting twist is that Apple has now made it official that if you hold an older, and I mean very older version of the iPhone, like for example the iPhone 3G, you'll know that apps like Facebook don't work on it because they require iOS 5 and it's not compatible for the iPhone 3G, for example. So what Apple is doing is that it's finally allowing you to download the old version of whatever application is not compatible with your phone so that you can still run it on your legacy device. So it's kind of an interesting twist. Apparently it's already available. Make sure you look into the App Store, see if you can get that old version. You will be getting an alert for that. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, we are just a couple of days away from the launch of the iPhone 5S and 5C, and you can expect that there are a ton of leaked unboxings already of what to expect within the box. But interesting, we are already expecting shortages for the iPhone 5S. This is the second time we hear rumors, and apparently if you're interested in one, you'll have better chances on getting it in space gray. Apparently the one that's harder to get will be the golden iPhone, because it seems that Apple assumes that you'll want the space gray model more. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Um, are you ordering the iPhone 5S, and if so, in what color? Um, in my particular case, honestly, I am going for the space gray model just because the white one looks exactly like the previous iPhone 5, and then the gold one looks like a girl's best friend, in my opinion. But anyways, leave us a comment down below. What is your opinion, or which device are you getting? Friends, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.